Hello everyone, greetings from TCC. In this series, we are going to cover all the practicals mostly of University of Mumbai given in semester 6 under the curricular of TYBSC IT. So before we actually start with the practical, the very one, one and the only important thing is that you should know the tool. You should know how to handle the tool. Under, understanding the tool is very important and this is applicable in in every context in every technology so if i start with android studio i would suggest everyone before you learn practical start learning the tool which options what options are given where how many windows are there which particular window has been designed for what purpose you should know everything about the tool then the task becomes very easier for you to accomplish. Okay, so I have just started this window. Welcome to Android Studio, which is a welcome window. Okay, and they have given us the options your projects. Then we can customize. We can have some plugins. Okay, we can learn the Android Studio also from here. As I have mentioned, see, they have given us a link. So if you click on this, you can just go through all the tutorials you want to learn about Android Studio. Okay, so. I'll go ahead with the IDE first. So let's click on projects, click on new project. And uh, you can create the project for phone and tablet, variable operating system, Android TV, some automotive, etc. We'll go with the, the very general and very the mostly used one that like is phone and tablet. Okay, then they have given us this uh, activity options you can say templates okay ready-made templates something like that okay we'll talk about activity later on which is nothing but act as a page okay we have a web page for the website so we have activity for android apps okay something like this okay so if i choose let's say an empty activity which is blank slate then after that they are asking us to give the give the application name uh my first app something like that it is always a better practice considered in an industry like to give meaningful name okay so just follow this convention it's not a rule but you will be considered as a good developer there then there is the option of language let's go with the java so two language uh, supports we have here the minimum SDK version they have chosen here by default is Android 7.0 Nougat. If we try to build app using this SDK, then we'll be able to, you know, install our apps on 94.4 devices in the world because approximately this is the like, like maximum operating system running or supported in the market. If you go a little below, then I guess you'll be getting close to 99 0.3 percent also so if you try to build your app using this development kit then you are covering 99.3 percent devices okay then click on finish so it is taking time to install certain packages and all okay so i'll just pause the video i will wait for things to get installed and then we'll continue so basically you all can see now packages have been installed the platform 33 we'll talk about this in later like in detail later about it we'll just click on finish now and this is the window okay dealing with android studio a very important thing is needed that's a patience okay okay you will see windows are getting loaded it will take time okay just always keep an eye down below here you will see the progress bar something is getting loaded it's taking time so just sit back and relax let the id get settled and then start working on it okay so this is what they have given us the assistant what's new inside it like okay fine generally what windows are there i'll tell you in this video okay how to deal with it and all etc still downloading is in still progress and process and uh, so i'll tell you what else we have here so basically this is the main window 
we have to deal with like coding window you can say and this is the design window we have so finally you can see the window has got loaded so now let's try to understand like which options are where how many windows we have for what purpose this windows have been created or designed so that's very important to understand you know before we actually start practicing it start coding or start building up understanding of tool is very important so on the left hand side we have a project section here this is a project window you all can see we are looking over this project as my like my first app and we are looking at as an android app you can actually have a broader sense of look also like if you want to get into a very much detail about it so you will get many things to know about it but as if you are beginner then i would suggest to have a view of android only like as an android app you are looking at it so manifest folder has a manifest file which can be called as a configuration file to control the whole project java folder has packages contains all the coding files okay or you can say code behind files resource folder have the layout files okay the activity design file which is there in the layout images in the drawable also images in mip map and something more is there like many other things are also there here which are quite important we'll explore it later on so we have resource folder here res and this is what we have here then we have pilot like we have a toolbox window in visual studio we have pilot here we can simply drag and drop onto our screen onto our activity we have they have actually made a section of tools like they have divided into section like we have uh, tools related to text we have tools related to buttons and we can accordingly do the drag and drop operation here okay through here we can choose like we have design and then blueprint both option have been selected by default but if you are just a beginner in the designer point of view also so just go ahead with design why we they have given these two options if of course there are designers expert designers are there in the market so they have to go in much detail about designing the apps okay so that's why they, there are two different views are given separately but they can have a look on both the windows parallelly like that okay but as a beginner of course we'll go with the designer view itself okay let me delete this button we don't need it now then after palette we have component tree this component tree shows you that which particular component has been placed on which particular component so you can see the hierarchy we have a constant layout if you select it so this thing gets highlighted the layout which has been placed on it is a constant layout then on it we have a text view so this component tree gives the idea which particular component is lying on which particular component okay so that's why this is very useful we have a tabs here uh, this is the activity underscore main dot xml file which is a design file we can switch to code this is xml coding behind it we can click on split window so we can see both the things together or we can click on design so these options are here then we can see the platform they have chosen api version here then this attribute window is very important like we had property window in visual studio we have attribute window here so whichever control you select that particular attributes related to it associated with it will get displayed here and then you can make changes accordingly to your needs like text text size or position okay there are many other things associated with all the widgets we have in the palette okay so that's one thing then attribute windows can be like you know toggle from here and on and off from here and other than that we have then device manager okay this is the window where we actually create our first like we are going to create our first android virtual device and then we are going to install our app on it to test so this is the device manager we have we also have a sdk manager okay that like this you can see here it give us the whole power of installation on the which particular sdk you want to install okay you can select accordingly and then click on ok and things will get installed and many other things are also here okay which we'll explore later on 
so we have device manager window attribute sdk manager component tree pilot and this project view so this are the very basic thing we should know okay about this tool this you all can see the navigation this gives you the complete idea that which particular file is lying in which particular folder actually our project gets saved in document in c drive in users i guess we have yeah in username and then we have your android studio project and here our project lies so android studio give us the complete understanding that which particular file is lying where if you go ahead and choose main active.java so it will tell you where the file is actually located so this is the complete introduction I must not like I should not say it is a complete but these are the like basics thing we should know about the tool okay before we start working on the practical thing okay so that's it from this video thank you guys I hope you people have enjoyed this video if any suggestions are there please mention it in the comment section we'll work on it thank you so much for watching bye bye